Hello. We're going to start with a topic I think is very close to my heart. It's really about what's good about this. That's right. It became my favorite expression of all times. When it comes to any situation that I'm going through, no matter what it is, I always found there's something good to look at in those scenarios. The challenge is, in the past, my life was all about what was wrong with this. And I found out the secret sauce to my success and to most people's success is to look at what's good in any given situation. Now, I'm going to ask you, what kind of situations are you in where you turn around and you think it's the worst thing that ever happened, things are awful, you feel unresourceful, you feel like, why me? How come this happened to me? What, what else could this be? And then it, later on in another time, maybe a day later, a week later, a month later, years later, you end up looking at it and go, oh my God, there was something really good about that because this happened, this, this, and this also happened. So when you start realizing that you can actually change the trajectory of your life by asking better questions, a quality question versus what's wrong or why me or why why is this always happening to me or any other question you may have about yourself, a better question is what's good about this? I remember years ago, I'd be speaking to my friend and no matter what was going on, she'd always tell me all the problems. And to me, the problems she was complaining about, I would have loved to have had those problems, like you know, having a family help and give money towards renovation of a house, but it wasn't exactly the way they wanted it to be. And I'm thinking, I would have loved to have had somebody give me money to renovate my house, but in the same, compared to what, right? What's good about it? What was good is she actually got it and it was great that she had that ability. But how often are we looking at scenarios of saying what's wrong versus what's right. You know, I hear people complain about their jobs, right? And maybe they want more. They want to have independence or financial freedom. And they're complaining, complaining, complaining about their job. And then the one day that something happens and they lose that job, all of a sudden it's like, oh my God, it was the best thing in the world. I can't believe I lost it. But they spent their whole life or most of their career complaining about what was wrong with it instead of what was right with it, right? Look at your life in different areas where you may be spending a lot of energy seeing what What's wrong when you may need to be looking for what's right and then find out if the stuff that you're thinking is wrong has become a self-fulfilling prophecy where you've gotten yourself in a situation where you're not fulfilled you're not happy you're not getting what you want you're not you're not feeling the happiness that you're looking for or are you portraying the joy to other people and you've become the miserable grump who's like always complaining about something. No matter where you are, you can actually choose the scenario of what you're doing just by the quality of your questions. So if you're still looking at what's wrong, you need to start looking at what's right. If you're looking at how things can are, are not going the way you want, maybe you need to look at what is going right. See, that's a different perspective than most people think of. We look at what's wrong, but and then we'll focus on that and where energy goes, focus flows. So we wanna make sure we start looking at what's working versus what's not working. And then you put the energy more towards what's working so you can have more of that. A lot of times I find that people will turn around and look at their business and say, well, things aren't exactly where I want them to be. And they look at all the things wrong and they put a lot of energy into focusing on all the things that are wrong, but the better money is taking the energy and putting it towards what is working, what's better, and what can be even better. And when we do that by asking quality questions, by taking concerted effort to the right direction, you'll see things start changing in the way you want it versus the way you don't want it. The other question I love to ask is actually compare to what? You know, I heard somebody once complaining about something in an area where I didn't think it was a big deal, but to them it was. And we were at a charity event and someone was complaining about a challenge they had. And I'm thinking, oh my God, you know, I would probably do anything to have that challenge where to, to them, it felt like a challenge. To me, it would be like that would be a quality challenge to have. You know, a lot of things come to compare to what? When somebody's complaining about having kids that are yelling and screaming, I'm like, well, I would have loved to have had more children. I have my stepson, but we couldn't have other children, and we did attempt for eight years. So compared to not having them when you want it, well, I'd rather have the screaming children, right? So compared to what? You know, you're not happy with your home, but maybe your home is beautiful compared to someone who doesn't have one. 
maybe you're not happy with your size, but to somebody else, you, they probably would love to be your size where you're thinking, well, this is too big for me, but for somebody else, that would be a victory. So compare to what? I think a lot of times in our lives, we, we look to see, we may compare it to our own standards of what we're looking to push through. And I think that's amazing. But are we using the words that we're using to hurt ourselves or to help ourselves? Are we comparing ourselves to other people, which is really not the best way to go about, but maybe we need to compare ourselves to where we are and where we want to be. Maybe we need to appreciate where we are and change our expectations for appreciation. And when we do that, you'll find there's even more abundance that comes because you open up the opportunities to be able to see things you didn't see before, where I think a lot of times we're just focused on what's not working versus what is. And doing that is super, super important to notice the difference. So I want to say hi to my friends, Beth and Stephen and Mike and Heather and people who are joining. So I did not notice you there. I felt like I was on a roll with a little bit of a rant. But I was thinking since I made this commitment to do these Facebook Lives on a daily basis, I wanted to make sure there would be some value. And the thoughts that came about is came about because I had several clients I was working with today and some people that I'm considering working with and when I listen to some of the new people and what their challenges were I'm thinking what they think are challenges or gifts and they don't know that yet because the quality of their questions so I challenge you to look at the quality of the questions you're asking are you turning around and defaulting to things that are going to give you a negative answer or are you asking quality questions that will give you positive solutions are you looking at what's wrong you're looking at what's right are you living in appreciation or are you living in expectations and when you start making these little shifts and live in gratitude and live in appreciation I'm going to tell you life gets a lot lot better and it makes it really easy for you and everyone around you and hopefully this gave you some value if it did write yes and love to have you share it and join me again tomorrow. Love you. Bye.